hello what is up you guys welcome back we are having a makeup free day i just got back from picking up some groceries from quick list from fred meyer and i'm gonna give you guys just a quick little grocery haul um and then i'm gonna be making some homemade blueberry muffins i made them on mother's day and um donnie really liked them so i'm gonna make some more for well the kids like oh my gosh i can't talk and then also i made these like egg bite things i had like hash browns and onions and maple sausage and um eggs in them and cheese cheddar cheese so those are a really big hit when I made them on Mother's Day. So I'm gonna make a couple of batches of those and I thought I would share those recipes with you guys. They're just recipes that I found on Pinterest, but they were good. So I'm gonna share them with you guys. I will link the recipe in the description box for you so you can just click it and um, you know follow along. But I'm also gonna show you like how I make them. So um, grocery haul real quick and then we'll do that. And then I'm also um, probably gonna show you guys dinner tonight too so this is just gonna be a food vlog i'm gonna show you guys what we're having for dinner i'm making um like shish kebabs with just like like skewers with meat on there but i'm gonna marinate them with um some olive oil and red wine vinegar i think that's what i have don't i oh i have balsamic vinegar do i have red wine vinegar well shoot i don't know i'm gonna make some sort of marinade for that um yeah okay let's do this grocery haul first so this is this is like a random just random stuff that i needed but i figured i would include this because i know you guys like seeing groceries so here we go marshmallows i got these so we can do s'mores this weekend today is today is wednesday today is wednesday so i figure um be fun to make s'mores this weekend on our little fire pit table out back i've got some extra virgin olive oil i have Hershey's bars you have to have those for s'mores you know what else is really good on s'mores reese's peanut butter cups i totally forgot about that um graham crackers are a must we've got some sugar we're out of almost out of sugar and i need those for muffins so i just get this organic cane sugar got some regular chewy granola bars and then the chocolate dips ones kids snacks we have so many friggin paper grocery bags right now i don't even know what to do with all of them i recycled them but we have a stash of them too these yogurts are usually like a dollar 20 something a piece um it's the only yogurt we buy the tillamook greek yogurt but they were 88 cents so I think I got four of each flavor. We've got strawberry. I got four of those. Uh, blueberry. That's all that's in this bag. But I got more flavors too. So there's four blueberry ones right here. And then I got a new cold brew coffee to try. Um, we live in Oregon. And our favorite coffee place is Dutch Bros. And I actually have one left but for mother's day donnie got me a few of the cold brews from dutch rose it's a nitro cold brew but they're like five dollars for one can you guys it's like the best cold brew i've ever had in my entire life um but i see so many people trying this or not trying but using this unsweet black stoke or stock cold brew um so i got a few of these four of them they were also on sale so i was like hey i'm sure it's good if tons of people mainly i see um her instagram is a glam farmhouse i see her drinking it every day and it just looks really good so okay rotate rotate i need to get into this bag so i'm gonna give that a whirl um we've got some meat here i've got some chicken drumsticks i'm gonna throw these on the barbecue tonight too so we're gonna have steak and chicken um i ordered usda or no i ordered angus beef um sirloin but they didn't have that so they they just substituted it with like regular um but i'm gonna cut this up into like little chunks and marinate it for a little bit until they go on the grill so that will be good uh what's in here 
little bananas. Got some bananas. Got some goldfish crackers for the children. Um, I got some bamboo skewers for dinner. Uh, got some blueberries for blueberry muffins. I got two things in my favorite coffee creamer, this International Delight Cold Stone um, Sweet Cream. This is the best coffee creamer ever. And then I've got the hash browns to go in the egg bites and some string cheese. And then this is the rest of the yogurt. So I got four strawberry, four blueberry that I already showed you. I got four peach and then I got four raspberry. These are so good if you can find these in your grocery store. I'm telling you, best Greek yogurt, best ice cream, best cheese, like Tilmuk is best, not sponsored. Um, so yeah, anyways, that is all the groceries. Oh, and then I got Donnie a six pack of cider, the Two Towns hard cider, it's his favorite. So that's it for groceries, and now I'm gonna get started on making those blueberry muffins. Right after I put all this stuff away, oh yeah, you guys were sitting up on my candlestick because I didn't feel like getting my tripod out. <laughs> Okay, so there was six of these steaks, the sirloin steaks in this package. I cut up three of them into like, kind of, I don't know, like one inch chunks, kind of like bite-sized pieces because they'll shrink up a little bit when you cook them. And then this is what I'm gonna add in. So I don't know about measurements, but like I said, I cut up three of those steaks. I'm gonna add in some olive oil, a little bit of this balsamic vinegar, and this Montreal steak seasoning, just because this is what we have on hand shake it up and let it sit out um, and marinate for like an hour until we throw it on the grill um so yeah we're gonna kind of go back and forth but i'm gonna show you guys the muffins but i wanted to show you guys this marinade that i'm just kind of making up um before we get started on the muffins Okay, so I've got everything measured out and ready to go for these blueberry muffins. So I'm going to tell you everything that we're gonna need. Um, starting over here, we need half a cup of softened butter, um, one and a quarter cup sugar. We need two eggs that I forgot to get out, so now I have them out. Two eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two cups of flour, half a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, half a cup of milk, two cups of blueberries washed. We're gonna smash half of them and then leave half of the, them whole. And then three teaspoons of sugar for sprinkling on top before they go in the oven. So these are all of our ingredients right here. Well, let's get started making them. First things first, we're gonna preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Okay, so I'm using my KitchenAid mixer. I'm gonna start putting everything in here. First thing that we're gonna do is mix our butter and our sugar. You're gonna dump the sugar in? Okay, help me dump it in. Sugar. All right, so we've got our butter and sugar in here. We're gonna get this mixed up. Mm -hmm.
Okay, mm. once that is looking like that, where it's all kind of softened together, we're gonna add in our two eggs. Okay, now I'm adding in the vanilla. <laughs> now I've got the flour and the salt and the baking powder here. Um, we're gonna like alternate these, so I'm gonna put those in and then put some of the flour in. Thank you, baby. Not all of it, just some of it. And then we're gonna kind of mix that up and then we're gonna add some milk, half of this milk and mix that up and then we'll add the rest of this and mix that up so it's not just like all at once and overwhelming so we're gonna go ahead and mix that first add in some of the milk oh my helper over here okay nope we gotta mix that up Right now we're gonna add in the rest of the I'm flour. I did it all by myself. Okay, well I gotta help you so we make sure we don't lose any of it, but go ahead. Go ahead, dump it in. Okay, we got it all in there. What about blueberries? Finish mixing that in. Yep, we're gonna add our blueberries next. Don't worry. What about the rest of that milk? Okay, I got half the blueberries here. We're gonna keep half of them whole. We're gonna mash these up. So my muffin tin has seen better days. I kind of need a new one, but I don't have any muffin like liners. So I'm just going to spray some of this avocado oil in there, um, kind of grease it a little bit. And then I'm going to spoon in my batter. How good does that look? I'm going to spoon it in. So that way it's like, I don't know, almost to the top of the muffin tin. To take our three teaspoons of sugar and just sprinkle it on the tops before we pop it in the oven for 30 minutes. Never said these were healthy. Got three minutes left on the timer. These muffins are looking so good. I need to clean my oven. God. I got the dishwasher going because we had a full sink of dishes after baking and like just the normal stuff today. And I decided to rearrange my kitchen counters a little bit. So I like haven't been making coffee um, in the mornings, like hot coffee, I've been doing iced coffee. So I put my coffee maker up here because it takes up a lot of counter space and I don't really use it right now because cold brew. <laughs> So, I was making my old co my own cold brew, but it's just, I don't know, it's not the same. I love my coffee maker, but I don't use it daily, so I don't think it needs to be sitting on my counter. So, I put that up there. I had these two plants up in 
my windowsill just to give them some sunlight but I just moved them to where they're at now this one I don't know I don't know what's going on with this guy he he's looking way more green and these are new right here um, but I don't know about these brown ends and what what to do about them but he was like very very light green just a few days ago and now he's like dark green so I know that's good so I think he likes this spot here in the window so I'm gonna keep him here I put my um, KitchenAid here the the bowl is in the dishwasher obviously but we got that there I use this so often yes ma'am you want to watch Sonic the Hedgehog yes okay and then my organ, oh, careful baby, that will break. My organ cutting board uh, was right here. But I don't really love it there. I just like set it there when we got it for Christmas. So I put it over here in the corner um, with this little kickstand and my orchid plant. This is a fake uh, little succulent. So that's what we have in the corner. I've got my knife block. This is the same little setup here. But I put this tray over in the corner and I put all my wine and my favorite wine glasses over here. Just a cute little little wine bar setup. I don't know. I think that those are cute. And then this is just I don't I don't know. Microwaves and toasters. I don't like them, but they're just things that are out on the counter. So that's over here kind of hidden. Um but yeah, these are from Target. These are my favorite favorite big old red wine glasses and then my stepdad works for a winery so he brought me a bunch of wine for mother's day mm. this is my all-time favorite wine Willamette valley vineyards if it will focus Willamette valley vineyards whole cluster it's like a yeah pinot noir and then if it's not that then my favorite is um apothic crush and apothic red which donnie got me a couple of those so little wine bar over here. Oh, our muffins are done. So I gotta pull them out of the oven. So we can eat them? And we can't eat them yet, they have to cool down, okay? Oh, oh they look perfect, mm. Berkeley. We did a good job, sister. Okay, here is our blueberry muffins. We're gonna let these cool for 30 minutes. Um, and then, I don't know, I think I might make the egg bites tomorrow because it is 5.15 already, 5.16 already, and I need to make dinner. The shish kebabs put together. I'm gonna start boiling some water for that corn, and I will show you guys what, yeah, corn on the cup. I'll show you guys what dinner ends up looking like after it is ready, and then tomorrow I will cook those egg bites and show you guys that whole recipe too. Here's our kebabs. Got some chicken. I'm gonna put barbecue sauce on this when they're like almost done. So I'm gonna go throw these on the grill now. Remember, it's hot, 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 okay? Ooh, what those? Hmm? Ooh, it's steak. Yeah, the steak's gonna right, be so yummy. Four percent. It is at eighty-five. Wow, buddy. So I, so I can charge. I had only for a little bit. That's why I'm playing for a really long time. Mm-hmm. Your what? Should have put these the other way. You're gonna be out here too? You're gonna be out here too? Yeah, I'm out here, baby. You're gonna be out here the whole day. I'm not gonna be out here for the whole day, but I'm gonna be out here to cook dinner. These don't need to be on high, Daddy. What? Did you shut the door? Oh. What's wrong? There's an ant? Oh, whatever will we do? Look at that. And <laughs> Okay, guys. Now it is time to show you the um, egg bites. 
with the sausage and the cheese and all the yumminess. So let's do that. Okay, so I don't have like an exact recipe for this for you guys, so I'm just gonna show you how I threw these together. Um, I have some maple sausage here that is already cooked up, so the first thing you wanna do is cook up some ground sausage. So I have that and I'm not gonna use all of that. You don't use that much. Um, you need half of a yellow onion and you're, I'm gonna cook that up. Um, and then you're gonna need some of these like shredded, um, you know, refrigerated hash browns, whatever kind of flavor you like. I have the Southwest hash browns here. Um, five eggs, salt and pepper, some olive oil to cook your onion in. Um, and then some shredded cheddar cheese. So like I said, I don't have exact measurements, but I'm gonna kind of show you guys how I put this all together. So I'm going to go ahead and get a pan to cook up my, actually, yeah, we'll just use this to cook up our onions. Okay, so while my onions are cooking up, I'm just gonna cook these until they're soft. Um, I'm going to crack all of my eggs into this bowl and mix them up. And I'm actually, I totally forgot, but I'm gonna add some milk, just like a splash of milk in with the eggs, some salt and pepper. I'm gonna add in some of this ground sausage and I'm gonna add in some shredded cheese. So I'm gonna do a quarter cup of the ground sausage. Mix that in and see what that looks like. Mm, do a little bit more than that. Like a heaping quarter cup is what I would say. Okay. And then we're gonna add in our onion. And then we're gonna shred some cheese in here. I think it's just a preference thing, like how how much you want in there. <laughs> Cause I did not measure last time. I just shredded it in. You got me falling. Did you know that? So this is what it's gonna look like. All your stuff is mixed in there. And we're gonna put it into our muffin tin. Um, I'm just gonna use some, I have this avocado oil spray. I'm just gonna spray a little bit in each one and then use a paper towel to like grease the inside of each muffin tin or each little muffin tray, because I don't have any liners right now. So, this is what we're gonna do. Oh yeah, also preheat your oven to 350. I just Okay, there wasn't enough <laughs> to fill up these two. I don't know why. So maybe make a little more if you wanna do all of them. So I'm just gonna take these hash browns out 
and uh, <laughs> pop this in the oven. I don't know what, I don't know why there wasn't enough, but there wasn't. I guess I could just crack like two eggs in those and put a little meat in there. Okay, we're gonna pop these in for 20 minutes. All right, they are almost done. We've got about 30 seconds left before I pull them out, but they smell so good. Okay, so this is what the mixed up ones look like. This is what those two little extra ones look like. So if you want to fill your whole muffin tin, maybe use like six or seven eggs. <laughs> My bad. I don't know why I use less this time. But anyways, this is what they look like. I'm going to wait for them to cool down a little bit, and then I'll pop them out and show you. Okay, so here's what they look like. Little egg. They're still warm, but got hash browns, eggs. Good little breakfast. But anyways, you guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you end up making any of these things. Be sure to subscribe if you are new. I'd love to have you join the Casper family, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.